Hello everyone, today I will bring you a super exciting BL drama Don't Say Now. At the beginning of the story, Fia came to the basketball hall to look for Leo, but did not see him. Basketballs followed, one with the words I love you rolling right under Fiat's feet. Fiat continued to search, when Leo appeared holding another basketball, and this ball had Let's Date written on it. Fiat finally waited for Leo's confession, and he excitedly agreed to the request of dating. Then their kiss was blocked by a basketball. The next day, the video of the two confessing to each other was spread throughout the school, receiving envious looks from everyone. As the accused person, Fiat attracted everyone's attention as soon as he appeared. The classmates took photos and teased friends, which made Fiat very shy, and he quickly escaped from everyone's sight. In a blink of an eye, Leo also came to the school, with a clear goal. He walked towards his boyfriend. The couple finally met, but after looking at each other affectionately, both of them froze in place. <laughs> so, the shy Fiat ran back to the classroom. Of course, it was no surprise that he was ridiculed by his friends. Fiat wondered who made the confession video and how it got out. So, friend though directly answered questions to Fiat, while Nam next to him was making supplements. It turned out that on the day of the confession, all members of Leo's team and Fiat's friends were dispatched. They prepared the shooting positions early and helped Leo stop the uncle who managed the stadium, but the uncle was too stubborn and broke into the stadium. But fortunately, the confession has been completed, and the video has successfully ended, so everyone quickly slipped out of the field. Knowing the truth, Fiat didn't know how to express his feelings at the moment, but in the next second, the friends turned around and left. It turned out that Leo had come. Of course, the meal time of the young couple cannot be disturbed, but novices are novices, and the two wanted to get close but were very shy. In a blink of an eye, the faces of both of them became clear. At this time, Leo found that Fiat, who can't eat spicy food, ordered spicy rice, so he carefully picked out the peppers in it, but Fiat still choked, and Leo hurried to get water for Fiat, but they hugged each other because of this. And this scene caused the surrounding students to scream. So Fiat fled the scene again shyly. Leo, As soon as the screen changed, Leo sent Fiat home. Although Fiat has been in love many times, he is still shy when facing Leo, who has been secretly in love for a long time. Leo was even more so. People who were lovers at the beginning could only blame themselves secretly after they separated. Sure enough, love makes people timid. Returning home, Leo was even more annoyed. He didn't know how the two got along, so he took out various strategies and studied patiently. The next morning, before Fiat woke up, Leo had already started to apply what he had learned, using intimate nicknames to wake up his boyfriend, and reaping the shyness of Fiat's new day. And Fiat went to school to see his friends, but revealed that he was a little tired. When Fiat took a shower in the morning, Leo had thoughtfully prepared the clothes he was going to wear. He even helped Fiat choose among a bunch of underpants of various shapes. Although Fiat was very shy, he was even more flattered by what Leo did next. Leo then helped Fiat prepare breakfast like a snail boy. It is such caring care that puts a lot of psychological pressure on Fiat, who has always done whatever he wants. The friends around him are a little worried. Will Fiat just fall into Leo's hands? Just then, a bouquet of flowers appeared at the door. With everyone's attention, the girl with the flowers gave the bouquet to Fiat. This is Leo's little romance again, and even though Fiat feels pressured, at the moment he feels the sweetness. After Anda delivered the flowers, she returned to the classroom with her classmates. Leo was still studying hard there, how to capture the other half of stars. Anda was speechless when she saw this, but when she learned that this was Leo's first love, she understood. She looked at Leo who was not good at getting along with lovers and kindly gave advice. After class in the evening, Fiat didn't wait for Leo, but went directly to his house. 
He didn't understand why he was so shy. The two of them had known each other for many years and had been secretly in love for many years. Lying on his boyfriend's bed, Fiat smelled his scent, and his mind became more and more turbulent. Then he slowly pulled out his belt. Then the next picture is a little exciting. Just when Fiat was so shy that his little face was flushed, Leo also walked to the door and opened it. This scene surprised not only Leo, but also Fiat. So Fiat turned around and ran away. Leo stretched out his hand to grab it, but he didn't expect that Fiat who was caught broke the jar and was no longer shy. And Leo was also very happy with the progress of the two. He decisively kissed Fiat's lips. At this moment, the servant at home unexpectedly appeared, saw the scene, and turned around to tell Leo's mother. Leo moved out of the house so that the lives of the two would not be disturbed. Fiat watched Leo move out of the big house and felt very guilty, but Leo knows that his home is actually Fiat's safe haven, so he doesn't want Fiat to come to his home in the future. Fiat was very moved when he heard this, but he was also worried whether Leo's mother would disagree with them. But Leo has already reported to his mother. Not only that, but Leo also asked Fiat's father, hoping that he would allow Fiat to move in and live with him. Although Fiat's dad was very stubborn, he finally agreed. It seems that the sweet cohabitation life of the two was about to begin. Fiat was very happy when he heard that his father agreed, and Leo finally plucked up the courage to ask for a hug. Just when the atmosphere was just right, a friend came in and interrupted the two of them. Hey. It must be said that the timing of the friend's appearance is a bit inappropriate. As soon as the screen changes, Leo is playing basketball while Fiat is watching from the sidelines. At this time, Fiat's friend now finally returned to the team after the summer vacation. She saw Fiat. She complained that he didn't announce her relationship with Leo in time. And Fiat didn't miss the opportunity and directly reported to her about the progress of his relationship with Leo. Just when the basketball training was over and everyone was about to leave, a handsome boy appeared. He threw away the suitcase, rushed directly to Leo's body, and kissed him on both sides of the face. That was shocking, and everyone was a little confused about the development of the story. It turned out that this handsome young man turned out to be Leo's younger brother Leon who had returned from abroad. But it seems that the relationship between Leon and Fiat is not very good. They are arguing and jealous, just like children. Leo was caught in the middle, in a dilemma. After Leo and Fiat returned to the room, Fiat complained to Leo that his younger brother always bullied him and pestered Leo. But Leo knew that his younger brother was also kind-hearted so he had no choice but to keep persuading them while getting along with Fiat. After discussing things, the two went to bed. But I have to say that although these two people think a little too much, but when it came to the actual action, both of them were a little timid and did not dare to make a move. It had to end with Fiat returning to the room. On the other hand, Leon also transferred to Leo's school, and his handsome appearance soon won him a large number of fans. And the legendary Leon is also a bit open to comers, and he seems to be the second Fiat. Fiat and Leon didn't get along very well, so they had to play ball to vent. Na didn't know the reason, so he tried to find out the gossip. Was end until Fiat accidentally blurted out that getting along with Leo was not going well recently. And Na left contentedly, unexpectedly. When he turned around, he told his good sister, then the good sister told her classmates, and then spread the word, and finally reached Leon's ears. Leon was very surprised when he heard that, and couldn't help but suspect that there was something wrong with his brother. So he went to his brother to question him, but his brother didn't pay much attention after hearing it, but he also explained his normality seriously, until Leon said that someone said that Fiat felt that the love experience with Leo was not very good. Leo was a little flustered, stood up and turned to leave. There are all kinds of gossip in the school. At this time, Bess and Lane are guessing the reason for the disharmony between Fiat and Leo. And the guessing is very bold and outrageous. But he didn't expect that Fiat was passing by here at this time. He didn't intend to swallow his anger, but argued with Bess. When the PK between the two reached a fever pitch, Leo arrived. 
and he defended his boyfriend in time. The two left this place of right and wrong hand in hand. Leo who came out finally summoned up the courage to tell Fiat that he would work hard, even in terms of exercising in bed. And Fiat also confessed his heart. <laughs> The two people who had communicated with each other finally solved this small knot, understood each other's thoughts, and became more intimate. In the dark corner at this time, there was a boy watching the confession video of Leo and Fiat. He is very angry and intends to take revenge on Fiat. But at this moment Fiat was not in the mood to care about that. He had received small housewarming presents from his friends and was about to open them to have a look. But I didn't expect that when I opened it. It turned out to be a small toy between lovers. When Fiat was curiously holding it in his hand to study, Leo pushed open the door and walked in. <laughs> Fiat was so frightened that he quickly threw away the small toy and couldn't help feeling shy. After Leo saw it, he couldn't help asking if this was Fiat's little hobby. After getting a negative answer from Fiat, Leo was actually a little happy. It turned out that he was wondering if he could be the first person to play with Fiat, and Fiat didn't object, and the two began to create an atmosphere, intending to get in touch further, but just as the two were kissing their hearts out, there was a noise downstairs. It turned out to be Leon, who not only broke the ambiguous atmosphere, but even brought bad news. That is a bunch of exposure photos of Fiat before. Faced with this situation, the Leo brothers did not panic, but Fiat was very excited. He was worried that what would he do if his father knew about these things? After learning what Fiat had done, Fiat's dad was furious. Fiat vehemently. Instead, Fiat's fear and guilt disappeared temporarily because he felt that his father had never cared about him and he was not qualified to discipline him. <laughs> They had a fierce quarrel, but neither could convince the other. Fiat had no choice but to end the fight, turned around and left. At this time, the scene in the living room stunned Fiat even more. The stepmother and sister Lovely played with dolls happily, but Fiat didn't say anything, but Lovely uttered hurtful words. Although a stepmother reprimanded Lovely, Fiat returned to the room angrily. When he returned to the room, he remembered what his father said, and was very hurt, and collapsed on the bed crying. The next day, Fiat received another video, which was even more egregious than the photo. To make matters worse, Leo also happened to see the video, so the two drove to the school in silence, without speaking along the way. Fiat finally couldn't bear it and began to explain. In the final analysis, the four words were young and frivolous, that there is no way to change the past. So now who wants to take revenge on Fiat? Fiat is actually not worried about what other people see. He cares more about Leo's opinion. After all, no matter who it is, seeing this kind of video of a boyfriend will not react at all. <laughs> Fiat and Leo broke up again. Leo was also absent-minded in class. And even his friends can see it now. But Leo was not good at telling others. He can only blame himself in his heart for confessing too late for letting those bad things happen. The twin brother E came over and asked Leo if there was anything he could do to help him. Leo thought about it. And there really was. After class, Leo went to the stadium to look for Fiat. But there was no one there. For the next few days, Fiat avoided Leo. Even refusing to answer the phone. And Leo's request to Eek has no clue for the time being. On the other hand, Leon is also a playboy. Because of this incident is being punished. Although he was slapped a few times, he didn't care too much in his heart. Ryan turned to leave, but saw Senior Pob feeding the cat. For some reason, this figure moved Leo a little, and he sat down on the spot. Out of nowhere, Pob took out a bag of ice cubes and handed Leo an ice pack, then turned and left had never met such a gentle senior before, and he began to be interested in senior Pob. On the other hand, Fiat is still living in a daze. The friends were all worried and they sent now to find out about Fiat's problems, and Fiat didn't hide everything. At this time, Na had a new question. She wanted to know why Fiat and Leo had a crush on each other for a long time. Why didn't they stay together? 
It turned out that the unhappiness of Fiat's original family made him dare not change the relationship at will, and he was afraid that Leo would leave. So Fiat started dating different people, he hoped that Leo would be jealous, and hoped that he could first break the relationship between the two friends, but Leo didn't, that's why Fiat became more and more absurd and casual, so that so much black history was left behind, there is no way to change what happened, and although Fiat has corrected it, he will still regret it, facing Leo who has only won himself, he feels very guilty, Na had mixed feelings when she heard this, so she secretly took out her phone and sent a text message, seeing the sky began to rain, Fiat still did not move, but Leo appeared in the rain, this time, regardless of Fiat's avoidance, he spoke out all the thoughts in his heart, his jealousy, his jealousy, and his confession with Fiat's dad about their relationship. <laughs> Fiat heard Leo silently doing so many things for herself, finally turned around, threw herself into her boyfriend's arms, and cried loudly. On the other hand, Leon was also caught in the rain. Although he ran into Senior Pa by chance, he ignored him and turned around to leave. Leon was disappointed when Pa came back with another umbrella. This kind of romantic plot is really meant to be heart pounding. Leo and Fiat returned home and finally shared the same bed they hadn't seen for a long time. Fiat was very worried that Leo's parents saw his video, because it was someone who had warmed him, and Fiat couldn't bear to hurt them. But fortunately, Leo's parents are abroad, so they shouldn't find out so quickly. As soon as the scene changed, Eek led a group of people to capture a mysterious man on the street corner, and brought him to Leo. Leo looked at the man in front of him, and Black was furious. It was he who sent the Fiat video to his inbox. Leo questioned Black why he hurt Fiat like this. Black told everyone that it was because Fiat meddled in his feelings. At this time, Fiat also came to the room and recognized Black. It turned out that last year, Fiat met a brother named Nick in a bar. After coming and going, the two became acquainted. The two sometimes talked to each other and complained to each other. And Nick also told Fiat about his boyfriend Black, who cheated his money and even used violence. Finally, Nick couldn't take it anymore, and he asked Fiat to help him. So, Fiat seduced Black and asked Nick to find evidence to break up with Black. <laughs> but even if the truth was discovered, Black still refused to plead guilty, and instead threatened Fiat to post the video all over the internet. Just when Leo wanted to beat Black down angrily, Nick appeared, took over Black and planned to handle it by himself, and promised not to let him come out to make trouble again. Nick watched Fiat and Leo get along sweetly, he was really happy. There will be one less sad person in the bar in the future. After the dust settled, Fiat and Leo returned home. The recent events are really exhausting and heart-wrenching. For example, Fiat pulled Leo back to the room, and then he was no longer shy, slowly pushed him down, took off his shirt, and started harmony. As soon as the scene changed, Leon came to the coffee shop, and Senior Pob was also there. Although the senior didn't like him very much, Leon still learned the name of Senior Pob. At this time, the two people who ended the exercise on the other side were communicating how they felt about this time, and there was a faint intention to do it again. <laughs> and Leon also launched an offensive on Pob. He appeared in front of each other from time to time, in the cafeteria, on the tree-lined road, and even in the teaching building, and Leon's methods worked quickly, although the senior feels that there is no change in his heart, he has begun to think of this matter from time to time. Leon's behavior was not restrained at all, so it didn't take long for Leo to know too, but my brother didn't say much. After all, feelings cannot be controlled by oneself. Next. Leo found Fiat's dad and told him that the matter was over, perhaps only Leo knows that Fiat's father has been silently protecting his son, but maybe Fiat was too hurt back then, so he didn't want to discover his father's care. Leo came home, Fiat was doing homework in the living room, he gave Fiat the little cake he had brought, Fiat was very happy, but when he found out that it was taken from his father's house, he was a little sad and aggrieved. Pick up the computer and go back to the room, Leo ran after him and he apologized to Fiat. The close contact made him unable to get angry at all. He could only lose the battle. On the other side, 
Leon found Senior Pop again. This time, he learned to match what he likes, and the two of them discussed cats, and the atmosphere was much better. But at the end of the discussion, Pop is still relatively indifferent. At this time, Leon received a call from his brother, and Pop's mood changed significantly when he heard Leo's name. Is he interested in Leo? Leon ended the call, but Pop didn't change his attitude and turned to leave. Leon and Leo met on campus, but unexpectedly met Pop who had just broken up, and Leon found that there seemed to be something wrong with Pop's eyes, so he hurried to the court, took away Fiat who was playing and another person to the library. Leon introduced Pop's identity and shared his findings. The seniors who are optimistic, kind and good-natured seemed to like Leo. Fiat panicked when he heard that. He wanted to take an oath of sovereignty, but was stopped by Leon. Then he started to give Fiat an idea. And this kind of idea didn't know whether it would benefit Fiat or Leo. Listening to Leon's words, Fiat has a sense of crisis towards Pob, so much so that even when he got home, when Fiat saw the little toy his friend gave him, he had some small impulses. Fortunately, when Fiat asked Leo insincerely, Leo didn't have any special impression of Pob, but the next day Fiat and his friends inquired about Pob. On the other hand, Leon is also continuing to fight. Although it is boring, he still accompanies Pob to study in the library, and he also prepared a small gift for Mao, the senior, and Pob was a little touched. So he asked Leon if he wanted to give the kitten a gift by himself. So Leon came to the senior's house flattered and saw Pob's bed. For a moment, Leon couldn't help imagining some intimate pictures of himself and his seniors. Then the kitten appeared, and Leon liked it very much. While being happy, he told his story to Pob. For example, I also want to raise a cat. For example, I am a child spoiled by my brother. Pob listened carefully, especially when he heard about Leo. The younger brother also found out, and cryptically told the senior that Leo had a boyfriend. But in fact, the senior has already watched the original confession video. As soon as the scene changed, Pob stopped Leo in his only way and wanted him to have a chat. And what about Fiat? He is counting the petals right now. Does he love me or not? In this scene, not only the seniors were in a hurry, but Leon was also in a hurry. He goes to Fiat and urges him to act quickly. If this continues, Leo will be forcibly taken away. So Fiat understood, and he moved. <laughs> When Leo came home and saw it, he became excited instantly, so he pushed to Fiat, and then the two began a sweet and in-depth communication. When everything was over, the two sat together tenderly watching TV. Unexpectedly, Fiat turned out to be a hidden skating enthusiast, but he gave up that hobby because he played basketball with Leo. Years recalled the past years, just when Leon thought the matter was settled perfectly, Fiat has already seduced Leo deeply. Unexpectedly. The two discovered that their brother and Pob were together at the same time. This scene touched the sensitive nerves of the two. Fiat and Leon rushed over and quickly separated the slightly intimate Leo and Pob. These two were also a little flustered, so they had to explain in a hurry. It turned out that Pob didn't have any special feelings for Leo, and the two were just discussing the donation Leo's parents made to the orphanage this year. Due to the large number of children this year and the high cost, Pob seemed preoccupied and hesitant to speak. Hey, there is a big misunderstanding. After Pob explained, he turned and left a little angrily, and Leon knew that he misunderstood the senior by thinking too much, so he quickly got up and followed out. Pob angry is that Leon actually thinks he will steal other people's boyfriends, and Leon actually knew that Pob wasn't like that, but he was too insecure. He felt that his brother was better than himself in everything, and he was worried that Pob would like his brother more. Leon sincerely apologized to Pob, and Pob forgave him, but he wondered why Leon thought so much. Leon didn't hide it, but confessed to Pob generously. And then left with his senior, Leo. 
who stayed on the other side, was also explaining to Fiat that he was very happy that his boyfriend was jealous, but he still felt that he couldn't tell Fiat about Pob. After all, Pob is a child in an orphanage, and this matter is the privacy of others, and Fiat is also delighted by his boyfriend's understanding. The two had a little flirt, and survived this little test unharmed. On the other hand, Pob was very shy after hearing Leon's confession, and kept avoiding him, but Leon still caught the senior and launched a fierce offensive. There was a sweet little gift, and a sudden surprise, and he was going to do both, and Pob couldn't help but smile. Although the senior doesn't like Leon yet, his favorability is already rising. As for Fiat and Leon, after the all clear, they went about their lives. However, Fiat is really a novice in housework. Although Leo can do it all by himself, Fiat still wants to help. As a result, the cohabitation life of the two became stumbling, but at this time Leon is also working hard for his relationship. Although it is in the name of cats, it has to be said that this way makes the distance between Leon and Pob get closer and closer, time flies, and the school basketball game is about to start. Now expressed concern, and Leo's desire to win was unprecedentedly high. What is the situation? It turned out that the opposite team had a little curly hair, he was one of Fiat's ex-boyfriends, and he came to provoke Leo before the game. It seems that this game is destined to be very exciting, both sides entered the field, Fiat was a little nervous, while Curly was still challenging Leo's psychological defense. At the beginning of the game, the battle between the two sides became fierce. But Curly did not play well, but kept verbally harassing and attacking Fiat. Although the method is a bit shameless, the effect is very good. Both Fiat and Leo were so angry that Fiat even planned to withdraw from the game and change his teammates to play. But this is really a bit depressing. The second half started quickly without Fiat, but the curls kept targeting Leo. Seeing that the game is coming to an end, the scores of the two sides are still very different. Sure enough, in the end, the curly hair team even used extremely bad methods to win the basketball game. After the game, Leo was very angry, and Fiat was also very uncomfortable. The two left the court one after the other, angry watching the game, but there was no good way to vent their anger. When everyone was discussing, Na came to tell everyone that Leo had a quarrel with his teammates. So Anda and Na hurried over, the teammates were angry. Leo was so risky, knowing that the curly hair was provoking him. He fell into the trap. It seems that the teammates don't know anything about Curly's words, and Leo doesn't intend to say it. Just as the two sides were at war, Fiat admitted that he was the reason and ran out. When Anda saw the scene, he even slapped Leo. The reason is that if you lose the game, you lose. So why lose your temper? <laughs> On the other side, Fiat came to a place where no one was around, and hugged himself distressly. It turns out that Curly's story is quite long. In the previous basketball game, Leo's team finally reached the finals, but found out that a teammate was on drugs. Although the teammate hasn't played yet, if this matter is found out, the game will be cancelled directly. But unexpectedly, when Fiat and Nao were discussing this matter, they were overheard by curly hair, so he threatened Fiat to spend the night with him. Fiat was very embarrassed, but thinking of Leo's emphasis on this game, he agreed to Curly's request. Leo now, he has already done such shameless things back then. After the memory was over, Leo also rushed to Fiat's side. It turned out that he also knew the truth back then, and he was very annoyed that he failed to protect Fiat. Anda slapped Leo because she knew about it. In fact, Fiat also regrets that it did not handle this matter in the correct way back then. So, Fiat decided to calm himself down. Leon stepped on the day when the game was over, intending to celebrate his brother's victory, but he didn't expect the atmosphere to be so dignified. Leo confides everything to his younger brother. And the younger brother finally grows up. Giving his elder brother comfort from his younger brother, Pob on the other side is also preoccupied at this time. So, Leon changed the occasion and continued to comfort him, and Pob's mind is that his cat is sick, and he's blaming himself for not taking good care of the kitten. Leon heard that this matter was easier than his brother's matter, 
and he managed to calm Pob with just a few words. In the heart of the senior, the favorability towards Leon also continued to rise. As for Leo, he was waiting at the door of Fiat's classroom. He wanted to chat with him, but Fiat didn't want to, but he still came to the team with Leo and apologized seriously to his teammates. Winning or losing is a common matter in military affairs, and the teammates did not blame Fiat. After apologizing, Fiat and Leo reconciled as before, and they met for a better tomorrow. As soon as the screen changed, Leon was sending Senior Pob home, and he was about to reach the destination, but Leon was still reluctant to leave. So, he finds all sorts of excuses to spend more time with Pob, but the excuses he made seemed a little flimsy, so Leon had to leave in frustration, but unexpectedly, Pop stopped him at this time. They're surprised to find that Leon and Pop haven't exchanged contact information yet, but they believe that this is an arrangement of fate, and they will meet again. Next, Leon came to his brother's house to eat, but he couldn't control his emotions after seeing Pop's smile. Fiat teased him when he saw this, but how could the two elementary school students get along peacefully? They quarreled, and finally Fiat went to complain to Leo and acted like a baby by the way. In the kitchen, they enjoy the atmosphere, but Leon's screams can be heard from the living room. Fiat and Leo ran out quickly, only to find that it was Leo and Leon's mother who had returned. The first time she saw her son, she began to complain about his loss of contact, but when she saw Fiat, she gave him a big hug affectionately. In the evening, Leo's mother will have a long talk with Fiat. When Leo's mother asked about the boy Fiat posted on social software, Fiat felt guilty for a while, but he still mustered up the courage to confess that the person he is dating now is Leo. Fiat was worried that Leo's mother would not accept him, and also worried that what happened to him in the past would make Leo's mother jealous. But unexpectedly, Leo's mother knew the story between the two very early on, and also understood Fiat very openly. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike the harmonious atmosphere at Fiat, Leo and Leon get along awkwardly. Leon didn't dare to go against his mother's wishes and stay at his brother's house, but Leo was worried that his mother would embarrass Fiat. But even Leon knew it was unnecessary to worry about it, and his mother knew it long ago, but she was still so close to Fiat. In the middle of the night, Fiat came down to drink water and Leo also followed. The two shared their mother's words and were glad to have met such a good mother. At such a warm moment, the two decided not to go back to the room and planned to spend a wonderful night on the sofa. The two suddenly remembered the gift Leo's mother gave Fiat and Leo before, which was the pair of necklaces engraved with each other's names. Leo's mother went downstairs and saw the two children cuddling each other like this, and she also showed a relieved smile. The next day, Leon accompanied Pob to pick up the hospitalized kitten. Because of the kitten, the relationship between the two has also developed a lot. Leon even used a toy cat to tease Pob. At first Pob was evasively shy, but what Leon didn't expect was that Pob responded to Leon through a toy cat. Excited, Leon brought this happiness home and brought it to his mother, and this abnormal excitement made the mother curious about her son's current friendship situation, so she found out about Pob through an aunt at home. As soon as the screen changed, Leo was reporting to his mother about the situation in the orphanage. After my mother knew about it, she curiously asked about Pob. Learning that Pob is the head of the orphanage, my mother decides to meet Pob. Leo arranged for Pob to meet his mother at Fiat's home. After learning about the situation of the orphanage, my mother has decided to donate, but there is still a small request that needs to be fulfilled by Pob, which is to persuade Leon and himself to return to Switzerland. Pob was stunned for a while, but after thinking about it, he still didn't agree to Leo's mother's request. ผมเชื่อว่าที่ลีออนกลับมาที่ไทยพอลีออนมีเหตุผลของเขาครับพอมาคิดในมุมของผมแล้วผมคงไม่ชอบใจแน่ๆครับถ้าจะต้องมีใ
คือผมไม่อยากบังคับใจใครอะครับ Although Pop refused, Leo's mother was not dissatisfied and agreed to donate. It's just that Leon in cartoon shorts startles Pop before he leaves. Next, the whole family dine together. Leo and Fiat continued to interact sweetly while Leon was still annoyed about his cartoon shorts. Mom looked at her silly son and said out loud, "I want Pop." Everyone couldn't understand the meaning of the sentence, and then the mother continued to add that she wanted Pop to be her own son. It seems that Pop has also succeeded in winning his mother's favor. After the sweet and warm meal, Fiat returned to his home. His obnoxious sister is still obnoxious, and Fiat is a little sad. He actually wanted to get along with his sister, so he called Leo's mother, looking for spiritual comfort. Leo's mother told Fiat that the only way to get along well with her sister is to learn to love the person she loves, which is Fiat's stepmother. Fiat was thoughtful. So early the next morning, when his stepmother left him for breakfast, although he refused, he made an appointment for the next time to school with Leo. Fiat also felt a lot easier. Leo was also very pleased. Asked just that he doesn't speak very well, and Fiat got angry. So what should we do? Leo had no choice but to comfort him with kisses, and Fiat was no longer angry and instantly became like a little bird clinging to others. On the other hand, Leon prepared a candlelight dinner and invited Pop. He boldly and generously told Pop's mother's wish and told him the story of his childhood. Leon's happy childhood made Pop very envious, but he also talked about his past. Although in an orphanage, he was lucky enough to meet his adoptive father. The harmonious dinner ended in the conversation between the two, but when he left, Leon finally felt that the time had come, and he kissed Pop's lips, and Pop didn't push away. At this moment, Leo and Fiat are discussing at home about the upcoming Fiat's birthday. If there is any wish for the sweet Fiat, it is to meet his mother. At this time, Fiat's mother also showed an unusual expression when watching the confession video of Leo and Fiat on this day. Fiat and Leo were getting ready for school when Fiat's mother suddenly appeared in the yard. คุณเป็นใครครับแล้วเข้ามาในนี้ได้ไงจำไม่ได้หรอ Fiat remembered that the person in front of him was his mother, but suddenly he was in great pain and even was haunted by nightmares at night. In the dream, Fiat's mother kept telling Fiat that she could only love herself, talking like a mental patient. And Leo saw Fiat having a nightmare and woke him up. Fiat couldn't remember what his mother had said to him before. The next day, Fiat made an appointment with his mother, but he was not as excited as he imagined, but a little restless. He even regretted not letting Leo wait with him. And when Fiat's mother came in, Fiat became more and more nervous. Mom told Fiat that she regretted leaving all the time, but his father didn't allow her to take Fiat away, nor did she allow her to see Fiat again. I want to tell Fiat all the time. แม่ไม่เคยอยากจะทิ้งเฟียสไปเลยนะลูกแล้วทำไมแม่เพิ่งมาเอาป่าเนี้ยแม่ก็เลยแอบออกมาเจอแล้วอีกอย่างเขาให้ผู้หญิงคนนั้นเข้ามาอยู่ในบ้านเขาไล่เฟียสเหมือนที่เขาไล่แม่ What is the situation? Fiat doesn't understand. Fiat has always known about what the mother said in order to let the stepmother take over. His mother wanted to touch Fiat. Fiat instinctively avoided, but seeing his mother's tears, Fiat remained silent. On the other hand, the atmosphere between Leon and Pop is much more relaxed. Leon looked at each other's frowns and smiles, and his heart throbbed accordingly. Was seen by Anda and not passing by, and Pop became more and more shy under the jokes of the two. Pop didn't avoid Leon's kiss. He knew that the names of the two hadn't been officially settled yet. After seeing his mother's Fiat, he sat in the basketball hall with a lot of thoughts, and no one knew why. After Leo finished playing, Fiat followed him to the bathroom. Without further ado, he started kissing Leo directly. Although Leo didn't know what Fiat's mother said, he could feel Fiat's depression. So, when Fiat proposed to play in the bathroom, Leo did not refuse, even though the location wasn't right. He chose to put Fiat at ease. The teammates were also very discerning and didn't bother. After the game, Fiat was still a bit sad, but under Leo's comfort, he decided to tell his boyfriend everything. For example, his father didn't like him, and he didn't let his mother see him. Fiat felt that his father didn't care about him at all, but Leo knew that Fiat's father was not like that. Maybe there are some secrets that Fiat doesn't know. Leo encourages Fiat to talk to his father and find out the truth. On the other hand, Pop returned to the room, only to find the kitten lying on the floor. So he quickly called Leon. At this time, 
Fiat also accepted Leo's suggestion and returned home to find his father. But when Fiat's father heard Fiat talking about his mother, his temper became violent. Without getting the answer he wanted, Fiat turned around and left, but met his stepmother outside the door. She tried to persuade Fiat that it is okay to hate yourself, but don't hate dad, because he really loves him, but she couldn't tell Fiat exactly what happened that year. How can Fiat, who doesn't know anything, forgive his father's abandonment? At this time, the younger sister Lovely rushed out suddenly. She stood in front of her mother and told Fiat why she hated him. She said it was because Fiat could barely give birth on her own, but the stepmother saw that things had become like this, so she had to tell Fiat what happened back then. It turned out that when the two first met, the stepmother already had Lovely, but Fiat pushed her down and almost caused a miscarriage. Dad was worried about Lovely's safety, so he didn't go after Fiat in time. This series of events made Fiat unacceptable. He didn't expect to hurt others, so he ran out. Leo who did not go to see Fiat's father, received a call from Fiat's stepmother at this time, and Fiat ran away from home. Fiat, wearing slippers, walked aimlessly on the street, tears streaming down his face, and Leo searched for a long time, and finally found Fiat on the chair by the roadside. Fiat threw himself into his arms and cried loudly. <laughs> <laughs> and Leo could only hug him distressfully. After the two returned home, Fiat was still immersed in self-blame and couldn't extricate himself. But Leo told him that the past can't be changed. It can only be made up. Although this matter is clear and obvious. What about Fiat's mother? On the other hand, Leon's love can be said to be sweet. And everything went well. Pop finally recognized Leon's identity. And the two began to formally date. When the scene changed, Fiat's mother broke into Fiat's house, but was stopped by Leo. When Fiat heard his mother's possessive words, he had a splitting headache again. This time he finally remembered what happened when he was a child. It turned out that when he was a child, his mother had always instilled in Fiat the concept that his father did not love him, and she asked Fiat to hate everyone only love her mother, and beat Fiat if she disagreed. Fiat finally remembered his mother's vicious words, but her mother didn't feel guilty at all. Instead she called Fiat over nervously. At this time, Leo also remembered the truth told by Fiat's father. It turned out that when Fiat's mother was pregnant with Fiat, she had mental problems, and Fiat's father found out that she had instilled abnormal thoughts in Fiat, so he prevented the mother and son from meeting. At this time, Fiat was still immersed in the painful memories brought by his mother. Leo finally couldn't take it anymore. He kicked Fiat's mother out. Even so, Leo was still worried. So he asks Eek and though to help. Keep Fiat's mother away from this house. Fiat is not in a good state at this time. As sensitive as a frightened bird. No matter how Leo asked about what happened back then, he refused to say anything. And in the end he even lost his temper with Leo. Leo had no choice but to temporarily end the conversation and leave. Leo had something to go out that day, so he asked though to guard Fiat instead. But a call from a classmate called though away. This is not the most irritating thing. The most irritating thing is that the child did not close the door when he went out. So, after Fiat struggled with a childhood nightmare, the nightmare came true. Fiat's mother appeared at Fiat's house eerily, not only frightened Fiat but also threw the photo of Fiat and Leo into the box. Fiat was very scared. He still mustered up the courage to tell his mother that he would no longer hate others and would love others. But after hearing this, Fiat's mother became even more excited, and she treated Fiat as horribly as she did when she was a child. Fiat was too scared to fight back until Leo's dad suddenly appeared at the house as a surprise. He just rescued Fiat from Fiat's mother's clutches. He sent Fiat home and then lamented Fiat's pity to Fiat's father, and Fiat's father was also annoyed by his lax control, and even let Fiat's mother run out, hurting Fiat again. At this time, Leo got the news and hurried back home. He didn't even greet his father who came back suddenly, so he went to care about Fiat, but Fiat was hit hard, and he didn't even let Leo get close to him. 
He was afraid that he would become like his mother and hurt Leo. กูกลัวมึงทำร้ายตัวเองมากกว่าทำร้ายคนอื่นอีกแต่กูทำตามที่แม่บอกอ่ะกูทำร้ายผู้หญิงทุกคนที่อยู่รอบตัวพ่อกูกูเกลียดพ่อกูอ่ะกูทำทุกอย่างที่แม่กูบอก Seeing that Fiat was helpless, Leo could only hug him and tell him no way over and over again until Fiat fell asleep smoothly. Leo just went to find Fiat's father, and he thought it was time to tell Fiat everything. So. Fiat's father remembered the torture that his little son had suffered back then. When he remembered that he forgot everything after he had a high fever, he felt that it was okay for his son to hate him. But who knows what hurt him in the end? The only lucky thing is that Fiat met Leo. Leo knew that Fiat never hated his father, but he just didn't know how to express it. Fiat's father couldn't help but get red eyes when he heard this. In the blink of an eye, it was Fiat's birthday, and friends all sent birthday wishes. And Leo also carefully prepared his own surprise. I saw him take Fiat to a strange place. When Fiat took off the blindfold, all the friends' blessings and pictures on the whole wall greeted his eyes. Most importantly, there are also Leo's confessions repeated in his ears. ขอบคุณวันนี้ที่มึงเกิดมาเพื่อที่กูจะได้เจอกับมึงขอบคุณที่ทำให้เราได้มาเจอกันเป็นเพื่อนกันรักกันและเป็นเราอย่างทุกวันนี้กูขอเป็นคนสำคัญของมึงได้ไหม This kind of surprise and being valued made Fiat finally let go of the panic and inferiority he had been feeling for the past few days. He reaccepted Leo's love and the friendship of his friends. The two held hands and looked through all the photos. Finally, Leo led Fiat to the screen. Friends have recorded a blessing video for Fiat, and they hope that Fiat will get better soon and come back to everyone. And with the end of the film, Leo appeared holding the cake. Such one surprise after another really melted Fiat. He was finally healed, kissed Leo again, and decided to confidently return to being friends. On the other hand, Leon came to find his boyfriend, but found that Senior Pop was very sad. It turned out that his kitten had passed away. The two buried it together, and Leon told Pop that although the kitten passed away, its existence was meaningful. Now Pop couldn't control his sadness even more. And fell into Leon's arms, crying. On the other side, Leo took Fiat to meet Fiat's mother. Fiat suppressed his fear and expressed his attitude to his mother. He will always love his mother, but he will not hurt others. And Fiat promised her that she would come to see her again. Although her mother was still agitated to hear the remarks, Fiat resisted the panic and reassured her. Anyway, everything is going in a good direction. Next, Fiat went back to Dad's house. He told his father that he had remembered everything and apologized to his father. The father and son finally let go of their suspicions and hugged each other after a long absence. After solving a major event, Fiat felt physically and mentally relaxed, and he finally understood his father. And with Leo's encouragement, he found his stepmother and Lovely again and expressed his apology to them for what he had done. The stepmother and Lovely also accepted Fiat's apology. And there were two more people who loved Fiat. Up to now, Fiat's knots have all been resolved, and finally he can talk about love easily. And Leo has been ignored for too long because of this matter, and at this moment he desperately needs Fiat's comfort. So he carried the Fiat and went home. Then, without waiting for a minute, the two kissed each other fiercely, feeling each other's presence with their bodies to their heart's content. On the other hand, the younger brother is much purer. He is still in the elementary school stage of customizing dolls for his boyfriend. In the end, Leon was able to invite Pop to dinner with the help of his mother. But when Pop arrived at Leon's house, Leon was sent out to buy things, and only Leo's mother chatted with Pop. Pop has always felt that he is not good enough for Leon, but his mother is really open-minded and generous. Told Pop bluntly that it was the two of them who wanted to share the joys and sorrows together, and invited Pop to the end-of-year dinner together. After the end, Leon sent Pop home, and Pop wanted to cancel the banquet because of shyness. Leon also didn't want his mother to arrange everything for him, so he agreed to Pop's request and used this as an excuse to get the coquettishness of his seniors. Pop was about to open the door to go home, but was blindfolded by Leon. And when he opened his eyes, he saw the surprise that Leon had prepared a toy cat. Pop was very moved by such intentions. So Pop finally took a big step in his relationship and kissed Leon's lips actively. The two finally started a more in-depth communication. As soon as the screen changed, it was another basketball game. 
Leo went all the way and scored goals one after another. Fiat was very happy about this and even promised a sweet temptation. <laughs> The young lovers were talking about love intimately, but they didn't know that Curly was going crazy with jealousy behind the two of them, and had bad thoughts again, and Leon is also in some trouble at this time, his ex-girlfriend came to him to get back together, originally, Leon was still jokingly waiting for everything, until the ex-girlfriend said Pabe's name, and Leon saw the senior behind him, I saw that Leon no longer hesitated, directly rejected his ex-girlfriend, and then caught up with his current boyfriend, Leon was worried about the misunderstanding of his seniors, so he kept explaining, but Pob knew he was jealous. After class, Leon followed Pob back home and occupied the senior's bed. He didn't want to leave until night fell, and Pob may have been stimulated by his ex-girlfriend, but he was shy and lay next to Leon. In this atmosphere, the two couldn't help kissing each other. The next thing began to get out of hand, and the communication between the two became more and more in depth. At this time, Fiat and Leo on the other side are holding hands and watching TV. Originally the atmosphere was very harmonious, but Fiat suddenly thought of the upcoming match against Curly in the basketball league. Hey, it's really a narrow road for enemies. Although Fiat is not in a good mood at this time, Leon still calls to show off the progress of his relationship with Pob. Hello, Milai. <laughs> Sure enough, love can make people grow, but it can also make people degenerate. Leon wanted to announce his happiness to the world like a child, but Pob could only look at his boyfriend helplessly, then turned his head and fell asleep sweetly. On this day, Leo was blocked by Irene in the classroom just after class, and she wanted to confess to Leo affectionately, but when Irene said something, Leo refused, although depending on the situation, the two parents may be related, but Leo didn't show any affection at all, and directly cut off her hope, and as time passed bit by bit, Leo defeated many teams and made it all the way to the final, Fiat saw that Leo was very likely to meet Curly again, and he was secretly worried, so, when Fiat couldn't get through to his boyfriend's phone number, he came to the place where Leo was in class after a long absence to look for him, but at this time only Eek was doing homework alone, and under Eek's prompt, Fiat found Leo, but then he saw a girl kissing Leo's lips, it turned out that before Fiat's arrival, Irene tricked Leo to the corner of the corridor, using Curly's plan as a bait to seduce Leo, however, this scene was all seen by Fiat, so he left sadly, and Leo has no idea what happened, after everyone left. Irene called Curly, it turned out that everything was designed by him, Fiat returned home still distraught, but he didn't tell Leo anything, just told himself over and over again to trust his boyfriend, but the doubt will not disappear by itself, Fiat was trying to seek help from his friends, but he did not expect to meet Irene on a narrow road. <laughs> Irene obviously came to provoke, although Fiat did not fall behind and fought back fiercely, only he knew the sourness in his heart. The basketball game is still going on. Leo and Fiat's team finally reached the final as they wished. After the game, Irene found Leo again and tried to use Curly's plan to take him down. Leo actually planned to suffer in silence. At this time, Fiat suddenly appeared and saw the scene, but I have to say that Fiat is very wise. Instead of losing his temper, he directly characterized Irene's behavior as sowing discord. He pulled Leo away from here. Although Fiat seems to trust Leo on the surface, he is still very sad in his heart. He hides from Leo and weeps silently. At this time, Curly called and told Fiat that Irene's father threatened Leo to marry her. On the other side, Leo was cheated by Irene again, and Fiat was tricked by Curly to go to the bar. Although Fiat carefully asked for an unopened drink, unexpectedly, Curly still drugged it. Fiat gradually became confused and mistook Curly for Leo, and Leo was also taken to the bar by Irene at this time. When he saw the confused Fiat, he got so angry that he gave Curly a hard beat. 
When Leo and Fiat left, Irene and Curly finally met, and all the two did was to tear Leo and Fiat apart, but what they didn't know was that a camera in the corner was recording everything. On the other hand, the relationship between Leon and Senior Pob is still sweet. The two dined affectionately and discussed not going to the party at Leon's house. But Leon didn't expect that the reason why the senior didn't go was that he promised the children in the orphanage to visit them. Such a beautiful and kind senior made Leon like him even more. Fiat, who came home, finally woke up slowly. He saw Leo sitting by the bed, and he was a little puzzled. And Leon didn't find out that his boyfriend was drugged. So he told Fiat directly that he was drunk and cuddled with Curly. Now Fiat is even more confused. He has no influence at all. But this time Leo lost his cool. He expressed his anger and asked Fiat why he wanted to meet Curly. But Fiat didn't say. Facing Leo's anger, he calmly proposed to break up. Because he felt that Leo and Leo might be more suitable to be friends. Fiat who pushed the door away. Leo also burst into tears, and Fiat left the house with Leo and went to a friend to calm down. At this time, Leo who fell asleep alone also had nightmares. In the dream, Fiat passed by him and took someone else's hand. Leo's condition was getting worse and worse, and he was crying all day long. On the other side, Fiat also kept crying every day. In a blink of an eye, it was time for the end of year banquet. The parents greeted each other. But neither Pob nor Fiat attended. Leo was very sad. Leon encouraged him to get Fiat back. But Leo wanted to respect the other's feelings and not bother him. The banquet was going on. And Fiat looked at the costumes that Leo's mother had prepared. Struggling. At this time Na came to find Fiat and told him that Irene had already dressed up and was going to the banquet to find Leo. At the banquet. Irene was pestering Leo. But unexpectedly Anda came out suddenly. Preventing Irene from approaching, she temporarily acted as Leo's female companion. On the other hand, the twins learned the truth after seeing the video of Curly and Irene in the bar and told Fiat about it. Fiat heard it. He decided to find Leo and tell what happened. So, under the escort of the twins, Fiat came to the dinner party. His red suit attracted everyone's attention, and Leo was surprised and delighted. Staring at Fiat intently, seeing that something was wrong. Irene immediately grabbed Leo's arms, making a choice between Irene and Fiat. How could Leo choose Irene? He turned around and ran out after Fiat. Fiat was waiting for Leo in the yard. Just seeing him, Fiat couldn't help but get red eyes. The two who haven't seen each other for a long time have something to say. <laughs> After the affectionate confession, Fiat told Leo that he could not accept that he could only be friends with him. Leo also finally opened up and revealed his strong possessiveness towards him. When he saw others hugging him, he just wanted to lock him up and let him be the only one in his world. He was afraid that he would hurt him like Fiat's mother did. People who were originally in love with each other, finally got back together after such a straightforward confession, and hugged together. And when Irene was about to chase Leo out, she was stopped by the twins and Anda. Irene the surveillance video they got and gave her a stern warning. But this is not the end of the matter. In order to help Fiat out, friends sent out the video of Curly and Irene. At this time, Leo took Fiat to the room. And the two reconciled seemed to have changed their way of getting along. Because Fiat's suit was sexy and a bit revealing. Leo changed from his previous gentleness to brutal and domineering instantly which made Fiat a little shy. It seems that now the two are truly together without reservation. Leon on the stairs watched his brother find his love again, and at the same time missed Pob more and more. At this time, Pob also called with a tacit understanding, and he told Leon that he was waiting for him outside the yard. Leon happily went to see his senior, but he didn't expect to receive a news like a bolt from the blue. Pob's previous application for a job in the countryside has been approved and he will go to a foreign country to realize his value, facing his boyfriend who has already made a decision. Leon is very sad, but he still plans to follow Pob. However, Pob disagrees. Pob cried and broke up with Leon. 
Leon looked at the unchangeable decision and cried like a child. While Pop could only hug him and apologize one after another, fortunately, Leo and Fiat finally returned to their private space. The two can't wait to enjoy each other's love. The red and black are intertwined, and the scene is both exciting and seductive. At this time, Leon was sitting alone in the living room feeling sad. And this time it was his elder brother's turn to comfort his younger brother. Facing his brother, Leon told all the things. The two people respect each other's dreams and their reluctance to give up this relationship. He understood this feeling very well and told his brother that some love is worth waiting for. After being enlightened by his brother, Leon has a new understanding of his love. In the final stage of the basketball game, the twins, Anda and others have already solved Irene, and the curly hair left behind is also in trouble because of monitoring. Leo and Fiat were very happy to see the bad guy finally found evidence, but the two still decided not to hand it over to the organizing committee. They were going to finish the competition in a dignified manner before settling accounts. The ball game finally started. Curly and Leo were always on the scoreline. Watching the evenly matched game made everyone very nervous. Until the time ran out, the two sides still drew a tie. So the last key ball was in Leo's hands. And now he has no distractions. So amid the cheers of the crowd, Leo scored the goal and ended the game with a one-point difference. Now Leo walked up to Curly with full confidence, telling him that if he wants to win, he must be upright. And when Leo turned around, Fiat threw himself into his arms. Now everyone knew about this sweet couple. The ribbons were falling gorgeously, and friends came over to hug each other. Nothing could be better than this. On the other hand, Leon is not so happy. He is sending his favorite senior Pob away to pursue his dream. Leon knows everything, but he still wants to struggle. Can we break up? But don't break up. But Pob doesn't agree. He knows he can't use this relationship to bind Leon. Although Leon understood Pob's intentions, he was still very sad. He watched the senior get on the plane, recalling the meeting, acquaintance and love between the two alone. While senior Pob was also crying sadly on the plane, Fiat and Leon came to the gymnasium where they confessed their love at the beginning again. This time, there were no friends who assisted, only each other and the basketball that said let's date. During this period of love, the two experienced a lot. Fiat regrets the missed time and Leo apologizes for his mistakes and problems. But fortunately, after going through so much, the two are still together, and will always be together. So, at the end of this happiness, the two kissed happily again. Alright, that's all for this issue. The play is also over. As for the couple Leon and Pob, although they are separated now, Maybe in two years, the two may be able to meet again, and Leo and Fiat, the cautious love from the beginning, have gradually grown. They not only learn to communicate, but also learn to be honest, so they can continue to be sweet like this. Well, that's all for today's video. Thank you for your support and encouragement. See you next time.